All right, folks, we're going to do a little demonstration on how to fillet fish. A lot of people, when they first start out, they come out with strings instead of fillets. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And the number one key is to have a sharp knife. I like to use the sharpening steel just for the convenience of it. Hit it. I usually, once I get it sharp and I skin a few fish, I'll hit it about 20 or 30 times on each side. That'll make it work really good. First thing we're going to skin, we're going to skin this uh, white bass, and we're going to fillet it out. So the first thing you want to do is make a small cut in the skin right there to where you can get your the tip of your knife in and run it all the way down the top of the fish. Then hook it back in that same... Okay, your rib cage is here. That's the bones. You don't want to get in that. So you go around that. And then come right up through that to the bottom. So you have basically outlined your whole thing. I use these pinchers. You can use regular pliers or whatever. Take your thumb when you start pulling this off and release that uh, skin from the meat because otherwise it can rip half your fillet off. Once you get it going, just peel it on off and it's, it's off. You've got a good fillet there to take. Wipe the scales off your knife. Okay, what well, you've already got this already started right here. Okay, so you run the blade along the bones in the backbone. You want to hear this sound. You want to hear that sound when you're skinning it. You know you're where you need to be. Okay, there's no bones coming down through here, so you take that all the way you run your knife all the way through. The rib cage is there, so you peel this up and you just bring your knife along the ribs like that and you just take that fillet, you lift that fillet right off of there. You feel, I could feel bone right there, that's why I didn't take that piece right there, there's bone. So you end up with a nice fillet to fry. Now you flip it up, flip, flip your fish over, you got the same thing to do. Run that knife down the top of your fish, down the bottom of your fish, around the ribs. Grab your pliers, loosen it. <clears throat> white bass are really bad. The, it, the skin is pretty tight on a white bass and he'll pull your meat right off if you ain't careful. The second side is a little bit can be a little bit aggravating because there's nothing on the back side to hold your fish up so you just sort of have to be careful get your thumb under that take it all the way to the ribs when you get past the ribs take it all the way down then cut that fillet loose and then just lift it up and fillet over them ribs when you get past the rib cage just chop it off and there's another fillet. Next, I've got a, that was the white bass. Next, I've got a drum, which people think is bony fish, and actually it's not a bony fish at all as far as the fillet goes. Same process. Cut right there, right over the top. Take it right on out the back, and then the bottom. They have a higher rib cage than some fish, so they get that reputation of being bony, but fillet is not bony. And we'll just peel this hide off. In the same process, you have to use your thumb to keep the meat from peeling up at first. If the, if the skin tears loose, re-grab, start over again some reason it did that but okay here's your meat as you see it's the same color as a striped meat it's just as good so we'll run our blade right along that backbone get your fingers under there lift that fillet right off of there Mm-hmm. You better hold him skinny fishy. Yep. 
There's your fillet right there. The other side, flip it over. Same process. Under the meat, under the skin, feel it right on off.